Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. So I want to come on here and talk about the Wayfair situation. If you guys don't know, they are literally trending number two in the country, okay? Right behind um, Naya Rivera. And the reason why they're trending is because a lot of people are putting two and two together. And they're saying that Wayfair is involved in possibly sex trafficking children, okay? Okay. This situation is really disturbing. I went through the hashtag and I was shocked at the connections that people were coming up with. You know, at first I thought, okay, well, maybe some folks are reaching. But the more I dug into the hashtag and I saw the prices of the items and the fact that the company ran to delete these postings say a lot. But before I even go there, I want to go ahead and play you guys some video concerning sex trafficking what it is, the victims, and how easy it is to be snatched up in these streets. And also, you know, how you can protect yourself from being a potential victim. I mean, this is real. I know a lot of you guys like to dismiss me as a crazy conspiracy theorist who needs to have a life, and that's fine. Maybe I do need a fucking life. But um, regardless of me having a life or not having a life, that does not negate that sex trafficking happens, and this is a global issue, okay? This is not just an American issue. This is a global issue. You have kids being snatched up on the streets of, you know, China, um, in Africa. They're coming in under the guise of trying to help the villagers and help the people and, you know, bring them food and, and, and things like that. And in return, they're literally kidnapping people's children and putting them in vans, you know. And now that it's being talked about more widely, people are starting to fight back. And the police are trying to do their job and hold sting operations. The whole situation is crazy and the rabbit hole goes deep so i'm going to play you guys just different videos just different things i put together to kind of you know make this podcast what it is and then i'm going to show you guys the the wayfair pictures the names of the storage bins and the names of the pillows and how the names of these items and the cost are just ridiculous fifteen thousand dollars for shelving fourteen thousand for a storage bin and then the names are that of missing children here in America, missing young men and women. This is really creepy stuff. So y'all go ahead and check all of this out, and I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. High above downtown Ottawa, there's a secretive federal agency targeting shadowy crime and the money behind it. Their work has gone unseen until now. Never before have they allowed cameras inside for a look at this. What we're seeing on the left screen here is an example of a suspicious transaction report. There were cash deposits being... Canada's committed. Financial Canada Intelligence is. Unit, FinTrack, now, flags to police signs of suspected money laundering of for sex trafficking. Report. Those email addresses and aliases could be hiding women held against their will. This individual had almost $200,000 in cash deposits. Many of these deposits occurred between 12 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. So irregular banking hours that you don't necessarily see. Red flag number one. There you go. An intelligence analyst is showing us a real string of dubious transactions. Travel-related purchases, uh, hotel-related purchases. We've agreed to conceal her name given the sensitive nature of her work, helping identify suspected traffickers and support their victims. What black and white financial intelligence can do is corroborate their testimony. Human trafficking leaves a money trail and experts know what to look for like lingerie purchases, motel rooms booked for several nights, and constant one-way travel, not to mention big cash deposits late at night. Banks and other institutions make the disclosures, then FinTrack helps connect the dots. Oh, my God. 
say the phrase sex trafficking, who do you picture as a victim? Maybe a troubled teenager, a runaway? How about a three-month-old baby? Total, and that includes several women arrested and charged with prostitution. Here are the mugshots of four women who Atlanta police arrested. And this is all part of a nationwide FBI operation. In all, 84 kids were rescued nationwide. More than 120 alleged traffickers were arrested. And Vinny, this is hard to say, the youngest child rescued was in Denver, Colorado. The girl, only three months old, a family friend obviously not good of a friend, offered to sell the three-month-old and her five-year-old sister to an undercover FBI agent for sex. Thankfully, that didn't happen, and those two girls were rescued. That family friend uh, was arrested and will be going to jail. Fifteen people are sitting in jail tonight following a human trafficking sting last week in Colleen. Yeah, two of those arrested are active duty soldiers at Fort Hood. Channel 6's Barry Roy joins us now live from our newsroom tonight with those details. Good evening to you, Barry. Yeah, good evening to you both. It was what they called an anti-sex trafficking operation, and the goal was to take working women off the streets and to get them help. They tell me tonight the streets are a little safer, but the fight against human trafficking is far from over. It's a global issue. It's the fastest growing criminal industry in the world. These are some of the faces Susan Peters says make up that criminal world. 15 faces of someone's reality forever altered at their hands and minds. Statistically speaking, the state of Texas ranks second in the country for human trafficking. Since 2007, over 4,000 cases of trafficking have been reported in Texas. Over 450 reports occurred in 2018. And of those reports, 323 were of the sexual nature. The Bell County Sheriff's Department conducted what they called an anti-sex trafficking operation, a three-day sting and clean that netted 15 perpetrators. The youngest victim, just 18 years old. I, I think I could go do a sting right now and probably make... Some a teenager it. taken nearly 200 miles away and brought right here to San Antonio. Investigators say the human trafficking case led to two arrests. Social media apparently played a role in luring the 15-year-old girl from her home in Houston. The night team's Petty Santos tells us this all unfolded last week and those two arrests made just hours ago. Yeah, those arrests involved an 18 year old and a 35 year old from here in San Antonio and the churches said they are facing range from human trafficking and aggravated assault of a child. Take a look. That's Carolyn Mitchell on her way to booking tonight. Investigators say she was con she contacted the 15 year old over Snapchat and the cash app. Deputies say Mitchell convinced her to have sexual intercourse with her and Rondell Lee Peterson for $2,400. We're told the pair drove up to meet with a teen again Friday of last week and that's when deputies say the victim was taken against her will and brought back to San Antonio where she was allegedly raped by Peterson. She was dumped Saturday in shirts where she called 911 and was able to lead investigators to the two suspects. It's happening right here. They're after our kids on our streets, uh, on their own cell phones, uh, and we have to absolutely have to prepare our kids for what to look out for. Now, granted, this young lady, uh, although she is not of an age where she can consent to sexual activity, um, was was involved in, in some of this activity uh, by social media and, and, of course, living that high-risk lifestyle. And the victim, we can tell you tonight, is back in Houston with her family. BCSO says they found a large amount of cocaine and an AK-47 in the apartment where the suspects were arrested tonight. And detectives are trying to determine if this is part of a larger ring and if there are any more victims. Black women and black children coming up missing these days. Time for a safety check. Ladies, if you see these kind of vehicles parked, do not park next to them and definitely don't park in between them. Also, if you're moving or having to shop, shop during the day. Try to avoid going to major mall places in the evening or at night when it gets dark. So if you come out of a shopping area at night and you're wedged in between two vehicles like that, if you have an SUV, try to go through the trunk of the vehicle to get to the driver's seat. If you have to enter through the driver's side door, get your mace or get you a weapon out because what they do is they jump out of those vehicles and hit you with a syringe to make you pass out. Also, if you see little cards and things like that on your windshield, avoid grabbing them. Many of those have a powder substance on them that seep into your skin, make you pass out. Also, if you get hit from behind, don't stop. That's another way that they use to get you out of the car to kidnap.
All right, guys, I'm going to make this quick, short, sweet, and to the point. Y'all know me. I don't really do this, but um, this is important. This is necessary. Um, this whole human trafficking, sex trafficking thing is not a game. It's not a joke. It's real. All right, so I need you guys to take it seriously. Um, just sent out a bunch of uh, videos and emails to the females in my life, my aunts, my sisters, my daughters, my nieces, um, take this stuff seriously, guys. Um, don't go anywhere, this, especially this holiday season. Don't go anywhere by yourself. Uh, whatever shopping you got to do, let's try to get it done during the day. Because um, a lot of what these people are doing, they're doing at night. And they're doing, once they get you, they got you. You might as well be on the moon. It ain't nothing that law enforcement can do when we don't know where you're at. won't have a clue as to where you're at or how to find you. So you've got to take this seriously. Um, I know a lot of us, especially Christians right now, um, we get hemmed up in a lot of these situations because all we do is pray. And don't misunderstand me. I don't have a problem with prayer. I believe in prayer. Um, the Bible says watch and pray. A lot of times we get caught because you're on your knees with your head down and your eyes closed. Can't see nothing that way. There's nothing wrong with praying. But, I mean, you can pray with your eyes open. And you can pray standing up. You can pray in a posture ready to defend yourself. And in this scenario, with what's going on with this whole human trafficking and sex trafficking stuff, you got to be prepared to defend yourself. Those of you that don't want to carry a firearm, go and get yourself a can of mace. Go and get yourself a flashlight taser. Go get something that you can use to defend yourself. This is serious, guys. It's not a game. Um, this is this is a different Jay talking to you right now. All right? Now do it. She ain't scared him. Call it though. She from Texas with the face on me. Knock. Hold on. Knock. Say something. Scream. Open the door, tell the scream. You can hear her knocking. You can hear it a little bit, but yeah. barely. She said Cl scream. Closing the screen. Do it again. Oh, oh hell no. Nah. You can't even hear it. Y'all screaming. Hell no. Nah. Y'all You screaming can't even loud. hear that shit. Look, look, listen to this. Underneath the motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Beneath look at that shit. That shit. <laughs> yeah, they had some underneath here. You can. They look soft. Because they don't weld it together. That's, that's the insulation, Alicia. It's insulated. You can't even hear. That's crazy. This some fucked up shit.
All right, so you guys just saw all those videos, and you guys saw that final tweet, and I'll read that to you guys here. Hey, tea sippers! To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.